latest on the NEET controversy. Well, after the Supreme Court deferred the crucial hearing uh, to next week, now sources have indicated that uh, the, uh, the government has, in a sense, extended an olive branch. Uh, the education minister met students opposed to the re-NEET uh, demand. Now, remember, there is a sort of a conflict with some students saying that re-NEET would be unfair to honest candidates. Some, of course, including the petitioners of the Supreme Court, say that re-NEET is the only way out of this mess. So, of course, the government there a meeting with those students, uh, Dharmendra Pradhan also assuring the students that their career is uh, the topmost priority for the government. Remember, the Supreme Court had also earlier said that re-NEET is going to be the last option. The centre in its affidavit also has reiterated that a re-examination for 24 lakh students is a bit of an unreasonable proposition, uh, though the government has reiterated its commitment to securing uh, the future of the students. And these students had met the education Minister earlier as well before the Supreme Court had actually taken cognizance of it and those petitions were filed. In fact, remember, there is no clarity on the need counselling yet in the sense that the counselling was supposed to begin on the 6th of July, but now it is likely to begin on the in, you know, in the third week of July. So, of course, that is also something that is making students anxious. Uh, this is a future of 24 lakh students hangs uh, in the balance. My colleague Mara Shakil is now joining us live uh, from the NDTV newsroom. Uh, so, Mara, this is an important development there. The education minister who has met these students time and again through the course, uh, you know, as the story has unraveled. But what really are you picking up from your sources what transpired in that crucial 30 minute meeting Yes, yeah, so in this meeting, there were two groups of students who had come to meet Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan. Remember, he has held such meetings in the past as well. So this is more of him constantly interacting with these students who have been anxious and their parents as well, trying to give all kinds of assurances that the government can give at this juncture because, remember, this issue is sub uh, as we have been talking about and following this case very, very closely in the Apex Court. But having said that, what we are being told is that... The of course, there are a group of students who are of the opinion that they should not be mass re -neat, which essentially means that each and every student will be asked to take a retest, uh, something that will delay the entire examination process because in just two weeks' time, the counselling is going to begin, which will essentially mean that those students who have qualified will be told which university or which college, medical college, their classes will begin in. Uh, they have they can begin with the admin, admission process. So the entire thing could get delayed is the sense. But the government's affidavit in the Supreme Court has talked about, uh, you know, the leakage being very, very localized and that it was not mass leakage. And hence, the there is no, it has been building a case of not going for uh, what is being clearly seen as a, as a logistical challenge of a mass, uh, you know, examination or a re -need. So certainly the, the minister interacted with the students, uh, gave them assurances and also said, that their career, their future is the priority of the government. And that's what the government is looking at, even as it presents its side of the story in the Apex Court. Red Mada, thanks very much for joining us with the latest there. So